Hello friends, my name is Chandramani and today I will talk about Windows Server 2019 installation. The last part we had, you know, uh, discussed about, you know, Windows Server 2019. But now we will start, you know, uh, installation of Windows Server 2019. So I'm, today I'm uh, super excited, you know, to install, you know, Windows Server 29 as this is the first time I'm installing and we will see how it looks actually. Okay, so let's start, you know, installing the Windows Server 2019. Let's create new virtual machine here and click the next and let me create the virtual machine first and see I couldn't see that Windows over 2019 option is there to select uh, because still it is not upgraded but anyways you can select uh, you know Windows over 2016 uh, okay and click the next and uh, you can provide here you know the name of your OS which you want to install so I've located the folder so it will kept the VM here and click the next you need to you know provide the disk size uh, whatever you want you can provide 120 GB as I'm providing here and click the next and then uh, I will finish it here so I have created uh, the virtual machine uh, 2019 but still I didn't you know insert the ISO file here so for this what I will do here I will edit it here and the CD drive I put ISO image so the ISO image you will find uh, on my PC and I kept it uh, in folder here and I look at this that's, that's just I just navigate it that's it nothing else so uh, what I will do I will provide 4 GB RAM it's fine you know 2 GB also 1 GB also but you know uh, as I have RAM so I can provide it right so 2 GB RAM and I provided uh, one more you know NIC card I'll show this so I will add one more NIC card that should be you know for the internet connection to my virtual machine and uh, the yeah that's fine yeah, this is network connection uh, internet connection for virtual machine and the last one is uh, I'm using for the my private network and that's it and option also I can enable you know share drive you know to mapping you know some folder files I can take you know if required actually so what I will do I will select this folder yep that looks good now click finish finish so if you look at i have attached the you know windows of 19 os here iso image and click the next let's start the you know windows of 2019 uh, virtual machine so yeah it started the you know installation process as like as you know we are installing uh, windows over 2016 as i earlier told that you know windows over 2019 is the base operating system of 2016 so you will feel like you know you are installing 2016 only but actually you are not installing 2016 we are installing 2019 so how this looks you know it's you know windows over 2019 the screen came so here the options are there you know you can select the language as you required and the time zone as, as you required and the keyboard it's us okay so as per your requirement you can select these options and click the next and now the installation window came so here what we will do it will take some time to installation right so it will you know set up you know file you know you know extract some file you know install services all these things so definitely it will take time to complete the installations so now this window came for the additions asking the first is standard it's core edition but i required you know uh, desktop experience gui you know um, GUI window so that's what I selected standard but you can you know select data center if you require okay so what I will do here yeah I just click the next and then I do the license agreement here and click the next and do the custom okay and do the next then it will start the installations definitely it will take time to complete the installation okay so what we'll do now i will pause the video and we will come back again once it's complete the installations uh, so i think uh, it has been completed to 92 percent so uh, within some time it will complete uh, 200 percent 
so then we will log in and see the view of you know windows 2019 the installing update so it will take some time to finish up I think now uh, it is completed now it's just restarting your machine to start off your new operating system 2019 yeah just restarting the you know uh, system as you know it's finished off now your it's personalized your setting as you first time logging into the server see the looks of you know windows server you know 2019 it is just you know about uh, just just as a you know windows server you know uh, 2016 only it looks wise but there are a the lot of features has been announced by microsoft actually see this you know after server manager has been uploaded uh, it it gave the pop up of windows admin center actually uh, i am really excited you know to wanted to know about what exactly the windows admin center because i heard about many things about windows admin center from microsoft it is a very good console where we will get all the things in you know single place and, and it, it 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 brings to a center like you know brings together new and familiar you know feature in one browser based application actually what are the you know consoles we have on 2016 server that brings to a single console that is what you know windows admin center but by default it is not you know install you know uh, windows server 2019 so we have to download this you know uh, small you know files and we need to install let's see uh, uh, let me close this one first okay let me close this one okay so now here we are it's you know 
good to see but it just like you know windows surface 2016 okay so so thanks for watching this video i think uh, we had covered the installation part in this video and the next video we will you know bring in uh, bring in, uh, a bit you know windows admin center where you know we will discuss about new things on windows admin center please do not forget to subscribe my channel if you're not subscribed yet, and like share and support to me to grow my channel thanks for watching